Now on to something else that is very important. Now, if the senseless shooting in Las Vegas has you kind of feeling unsure and worried, you're not alone. Many think, though, that if you were not at the scene or you're not directly uh, knowing somebody that was there, that you shouldn't have these feelings. But that couldn't be further from the truth. Counselor Kat Roby is here with some help, and I think you're right on time uh, right now, Kat, because I think a lot of people are feeling exactly what I just explained. Yeah, it's really, it's, it's, a challenging time, so I want to just kind of say that to yeah. obviously there's there's things to talk about and things to work through, but in everyday stress we have ongoing tension and things like that that are already there, and then when an event like this happens and it's unpredictable and random, it could have been anywhere, it could have been anyone, that sends our brains into fight or flight mode, control everything, figure out if we're safe, like all these stress hormones are taking over our body, you probably will even notice that your body will shrink mm -hmm. down even more than just sitting at your computer all day yeah. because daily stress, the things we'll talk about today can affect and help daily stress as well as when you just feel in this swirl yeah. of overwhelm and being able to pull yourself out of it somehow is so important. So what I wanna talk about is like some strategic stuff. Mm -hmm. um, also, because I just wanna kinda keep in mind, this is a good thing that our brain does this for us, right? It gives us the energy and the stamina that we need when we are in a difficult situation. It's just that we aren't a lot of times yeah. when our brain does that for us. So thankfully, our mind and our body work together in an amazing way to kind of help us through that, to get us back into our full senses. Because another thing people are uh, saying is they can't focus, mm -hmm. they can't pay attention to work, they can't sleep, they're super sad, you know? And of course, I mean, that is so much of the human experience, you know, regardless of who it affects, this piece of humanity has so much, you know, deep felt, grief, like, like Alex said. And so for us to be able to recognize when we're in it is the most important thing. So what, look at where your shoulders are, yeah. you know? Are you breathing? I literally forget to breathe sometimes and then I'll take a big, mm -hmm. oh, right. Because that's helping wash out all of those, uh, now I'm thinking of steroids from the show. From the show before. Wait, <laughs> all those like, hor uh, hormones and the yes. stress response, the adrenaline that's kicked into gear, the cortisol that's kind of washed through, your body will feel tense. You might even feel sore in your muscles. So all of those things are your cues and maybe even your attitude or that you don't want to get out of bed or that you don't want to go to work. All of those are reminders to go in to s inside to take a deep breath. Yeah. Like one of the best things we can do for ourselves to help clean that out of our system is take a deep breath with a longer exhale and I pretend I'm blowing bubbles because it's easier to make it longer that way. If you just go, <sighs> right. <laughs> it's hard to do that, but a longer exhale can start reprogramming your physiology so that you can get back into the present moment, which then you can see that, yes, all the things that we're talking about are still real yeah. and still true, and I'm safe, yeah. and now I can think again. Now I can get my, my, brain, my thinking mind back online to say, you know, how do I do some advocating? Who do I talk to? How do I start a discussion? What do I do to make sure that this is a safe environment? Right? So there's lots of things. And actually, can we do some physical? Yes. I would say, so we have our deep breath. Yeah. Uh, now this is something everybody at home, go ahead and get up uh, out of your chairs. Uh, this is gonna be good for all of us, regardless of what's going on in your life, how you're feeling, this is yeah. gonna be something that's gonna be good for us today. So follow, follow along. I do this actually several times a day. And um, an easy thing to do is what Amy Cuddy, she's got a TED talk. It's called a power pose. Just putting your hands on your waist and standing in a way like this that's powerful. Mm. And maybe even what my husband calls starfishing it out. Starfish. What you're doing is first of all, you're opening up this constricted area where we yeah. hold a lot of our tension. Opening that up and <sighs> maybe even pulling back across your your. Like rib cage, shoulder, like opening yeah. up your rib cage, a lot of our stress can be held there. Um, and putting your hands behind your back or as close as you can, if you can't connect mm -hmm. there, and just opening up your chest. You can see all this kind of opening up. Even when you're trying to focus on a work deadline, yeah. this will give you energy focus. This will wash that good kind of hormone through you. Um, another important thing, oh, and sorry, the, the power pose that I was talking about gives uh, a good hormone, gives that testosterone, takes away some of that cortisol, those kinds of things. So breathing, getting into your body, yoga, meditating, those are all things that you can do to kind of get out of and what I thinking wanna, mind, because you're going to keep thinking it over and over. Well, and what I want to leave everybody with is your feelings are normal. 
Yes. Uh, these are normal feelings. These are just things to kind of work through them. Uh, Kat, thank you so much for addressing this. I'm going to remind her how they can get a hold of you if they need more help. If you've been interested in professional advice, give Kat Roby a call at 906-3392 or you can visit robycounseling.com.